and welcome back to another episode of the Muscle Whisperer with me Kate Brown. In this episode I'll be showing you how to start a massage over drapes. So I hope you enjoy, if you do like, subscribe and leave any comments below. Okay so I'm just going to demonstrate um, how I like to start a massage. I almost always start over the covers. Um, this is because I think it's a really nice way to um, introduce the touch um, and also just to help the client settle and um, let them adjust to the temperature just to keep them warm uh, whilst you begin the treatment. So um, I personally find it quite distracting if um, a therapist just straight away brings back the drapes and straight on with the oil. Um, it's a bit too fast for me. I like, you know, I like to be eased into these sort of things. So um, yeah, so Starting over drapes, I think, is a lovely way to do this. Um, I'm using the um, the Massage Warehouse brushed cotton sheet, and um, this is a really nice thickness. It's like a heavyweight, 100% cotton sheet, so um, yeah, it's ideal for treatments um, and really soft and luxurious. So, um, a nice way you can start is just with some holds. So. Um, I quite like to start um, on the back, but you can start wherever you're drawn to. Um, if you work with um, sort of energy and chakras, um, then you can relate to those as well. So I tend to start here with my hand over the sacrum and between the shoulders. And just hold there for a moment. And then you can do some holds. I like to come round and gently hold the backs of the legs with the hamstrings. Backs of the knees. My hands are just really soft. Calves. Ankles. and feet. So you can play around with that however feels uh, right for you. It can be different every time. Uh, then another nice technique you can use um, is just a bit of rocking. So um, I quite like to use the heels of my hands for this. Um, so I let my knees relax. So I've got a sort of a, a lower stance and then I'm just working down one side of the body. So this is, I've got a, um, a hand on the glutes and a hand just uh, supporting uh, along the spine. And I'm just giving the body a gentle rock and I'm allowing it to come back to me. So I'm doing the pushing and then I'm allowing it to come back. So they are moving in a nice, natural, rhythmical way. And I like to take it down the side of the leg. So I've gone from the glutes and I'm going, and I'm pushing along, sort of working um, along the greater trochanter, that sort of bony outside part of the hip. And down to the knee. So this is a lovely way to sort of loosen up the, uh, the lower back and the pelvis as well, where you quite often it's still holding on to a lot of tension even when you're just lying down. So this is a nice way to work it out. Moving down a bit. And I'd repeat that on both sides. So again, just a way to introduce touch over the drapes um, and helping your client to relax. And the last technique that I also use quite a lot is uh, friction. So um, again, I probably use the sort of heel or flat of my hand to produce the, um, the friction. And this is just stimulating um, the sort of top layers of the dermis of the skin, bringing heat, bringing warmth, and uh, yeah, it just feels really awesome as well. So, I'm using the flat of my hand, just working down those areas. You can work wherever. But I'm just coming down sort of the lower back again, across the glutes where they hold so much tension on the leg. And 
little bit down the arm. And just a couple of sweeps then to finish that. And again, I do that on, on both sides. So yeah, so that's um, a couple of ways that you can start a treatment. You don't need to use all of those techniques. Um, I tend to use the um, holds and the rocking most often. Um, the friction is also quite good. If like me, you were quite cold blooded and um, your hands are cold before a treatment. So um, a nice way to help your hands warm up also is to do the friction. If you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed today's video, then please like, share and subscribe. We look forward to seeing you again soon.